Is your game stuttering even with a decent GPU and CPU? You Alt-Tab, check Task Manager, and boom, 100% disk usage. Today, we'll fix that. These tweaks are safe, effective, and don't need expensive hardware upgrades. Let's jump right in. 1. Disable SysMain SysMain is a background service that monitors your activity and tries to preload apps you frequently use. In theory, it's supposed to make your system feel faster. In practice, especially on systems with HDDs or budget SSDs, it can lead to constant disk usage, sluggish performance, and even system hangs. Here's how to disable it using Command Prompt. Press Win plus X, then select Command Prompt Admin or Windows Terminal Admin. In the command window, run the following two commands. SC stop sysmain. SC config sysmain start equals disabled. After entering both commands, restart your PC to fully disable the service. Once disabled, sysmain will no longer try to guess what you are about to open, and your disk will stop working overtime caching things you may never use. This tweak is especially useful for improving performance on older machines or systems with limited I.O. throughput, helping free up both disk and memory for tasks you actually care about. 2. Clear temp files and cache bloat. Over time, Windows stores a ton of temporary files, logs, cache, installer leftovers, and more. These can pile up and cause disk thrashing, slow down boot times, or even affect app performance. Regularly clearing them out gives your system breathing room and helps it run more smoothly. Step by step, press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog. Type Temp and press Enter. If prompted for admin permission, click Continue. Select all files in the folder, Control plus A, and delete them. Skip any files that are currently in use. Open the Run dialog again. Type percent %temp percent and press Enter. This is your user's temp folder. Again, select all and delete everything. One more time, press Windows plus R, type prefetch and hit Enter. Delete all files in this folder too. These are preloaded startup files. Skip files currently in use. Pro tip, run these steps every few weeks or after on installing large software packages. Cleaning these folders helps reduce background disk access, clears junk cache, and can free up gigabytes of space, leading to faster file access and fewer slowdowns. It's one of the easiest and most effective low-level maintenance tasks you can do. 3. Set custom page file for your drive. The page file acts as overflow memory when your RAM gets full. But if Windows is constantly resizing it, you'll experience random disk spikes, sluggish app switching, and longer load times. Setting a fixed size for the page file keeps things stable and helps prevent unnecessary disk activity, especially if you don't have a ton of RAM. Here's how to set it up manually. Press Windows plus R, type sysdm.cpl, and press Enter to open System Properties. Go to the Advanced tab. Under the Performance section, click Settings. In the new window, switch to the Advanced tab. Under Virtual Memory, click Change. Uncheck the box for Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Select your system drive, usually C, choose Custom Size, and enter Initial Size, 4096 megabytes. Maximum size, 8192 megabytes. If you have 8 gigabytes or more RAM, you can set even higher values like 12288 over 16384. Click Set, then OK on all windows. Restart your PC to apply the changes. Setting a fixed size page file ensures Windows doesn't keep resizing it on the fly, which reduces disk thrashing, speeds up performance when RAM runs low, and helps avoid system slowdowns during multitasking or gaming. It's a smart move, especially for machines with 4 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. 4. Exclude game folders from Windows Defender. 
Windows Defender provides great real-time protection, but it can scan large game files or mods while you're playing, causing random disk usage spikes, lag, or frame drops. Excluding your game directories keeps performance smooth while still protecting the rest of your system. Here's how to add exclusions. Open the Start menu, type Windows Security and open it. Go to Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and click Manage Settings under the Virus and Threat Protection Settings section. Scroll further and click Add or Remove Exclusions under the Exclusions section. Click Add an Exclusion, choose Folder. Browse to your game folders. Examples include C, Program Files x86, Steam. D, Games, Steam Library. C, Program Files, Battle.net. Any other drive or directory where you keep installed games. Repeat for each folder you want to exclude. By excluding these directories, Defender won't scan your game files in the middle of gameplay, which helps reduce disk I.O. spikes, avoid stuttering, and allows faster load times, especially helpful for open world or texture-heavy titles. 5. Disable Runtime Broker and App Permissions You Don't Use The Runtime Broker service manages app permissions, but can unexpectedly trigger disk and CPU activity, causing annoying background spikes that affect performance. By tightening app permissions and reducing triggers, you can quiet this background noise and improve system responsiveness. Steps to Reduce Runtime Broker Activity A. Disable Unused App Permissions Open Settings, then go to Privacy. Under App Permissions, go through categories like Camera, Location, Contacts, Microphone, etc. Turn off access for apps that don't need these permissions, especially background apps you rarely use. B. Reduce Runtime Broker Triggers Go to Settings, then System, Notifications. Scroll down and turn off Get Tips, Tricks and Suggestions as you use Windows. Then head to Settings, System, Multitasking. If available, disable Timeline, which tracks your app activity across devices. By tightening app permissions and turning off unnecessary Windows tips and timelines, you prevent Runtime Broker from kicking off random background tasks. This results in fewer disk spikes, less CPU load, and a generally smoother experience, especially on low-end or older PCs. 6. Disable maintenance tasks waking your disk. Windows runs regular maintenance tasks like disk scans, updates, and indexing, usually during idle times. However, these can sometimes trigger unexpected disk activity while you're gaming or working, causing sudden slowdowns or stuttering. How to disable these maintenance wake-ups? Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and press Enter to open the Registry Editor. Navigate to, in the right pane, right-click and select New, DWORD 32-bit value. Name the new DWORD Maintenance Disabled. Double-click Maintenance Disabled and set its value to 1. Close Registry Editor and restart your PC to apply the change. This tweak stops Windows from waking up your disk for background maintenance tasks during your active sessions. You'll get fewer surprise disk scans or slowdowns mid-game, helping keep performance smooth and uninterrupted. 7. Disable Drive Indexing on Game Drives Indexing helps Windows search faster, but it's useless for most gamers and causes background disk use. Steps Open this PC. Right-click your game drive. Properties Uncheck Allow files on this drive to have contents indexed. Applied to all folders and subfolders. No more aggressive indexing processes running while you're gaming. 8. Disable Windows Search Indexing via CMD. Indexing constantly writes to disk in the background. Disabling it can reduce random I.O. spikes, especially on HDDs. Steps. Open CMD as administrator. Run SC stop Windows search. SC config Windows search. Start 
disabled. Disables Windows Search Service. Safe if you don't rely on fast file searches or use Outlook indexing. 9. Turn off Windows Error Reporting, WER. Windows silently logs and reports crashes and app hangs, often writing to disk during gaming. Steps. Open CMD as administrator. Run. Each of these tweaks targets real disk bottlenecks that affect gaming. Apply them one by one, test your system, and say goodbye to that 100% disk usage in the middle of matches. Let us know in the comments how much smoother your system feels after this. And if you want a full low-end disk optimization routine, drop a disk in the comments. Thanks for watching.